Hi, now we're ready for our next uh, watercolour lesson and this time I'm thinking of um, showing you uh, another technique a technique which is uh, called wet into wet it's a very uh, popular uh, technique there are quite a lot of them and we'll try one of them um, it's, a, it's a technique which uh, allows you to use a little bit of fantasy it's not sure how much fantasy we're going to use in this picture they're going to paint but uh, that is the technique one uses if one wants to use one's own uh, fantasy a lot when one painting watercolour. The subject today I've um, decided will be um, flames or um, uh, a bonfire. Um, bonfires are quite popular in some parts of the world <laughs> In Denmark, where I come from, uh, on the uh, 23rd of June, Midsummer's Day, uh, people light bonfires in the evening and uh, send the witch off to somewhere else. And um, in England, on the 5th of uh, November, one remembers Guy Fawkes with uh, bonfires. So bonfires are quite quite a popular uh, thing, and. Um, they're quite fun to paint, so um, that's what I'm going to show you today. When uh, I ask people on some of my workshops um, whether they've uh, tried painting wet into wet, and sometimes they say, oh yes we have, we've, um, we've put a piece of paper into a photographic dish, filled it up with water, let the paper lie there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, then we took the paper out, shook it to get rid of most of the water, put it on a on a, on a drawing board and started to paint. Other people say yes well we've done it another way we've um, uh, taken a piece of paper we've filled a large brush uh, full of water and then we just brushed the the water onto the onto the paper until it was wet and then we painted on the wet paper. So there are different ways of, of wetting your paper and there's a different ways of um, deciding how much water you're going to have uh, on your paper. These are two, two techniques which are quite common, but um, I'm afraid you can't use this technique for what we're going to paint today. So um, we've got to try and find another variation of, of that sort of technique. Because you've got to try and think, what is wet into wet? I mean, wet into wet can be many different things. It can be um, painting wet uh, paint onto wet paper. It can be painting paint onto dry paper and then coming with a lot of water, graduating uh, the paint with a lot of water, that is also wet into wet. Um, painting uh, wet paint onto dry paper and then painting more uh, or another colour, wet colour, wet paint into the first paint, that is also wet into wet. Um, you can wet the whole paper, if you wet the whole paper of course the uh, paint will spread quite a long way. If you just wet a smaller area then water and paint cannot move so much and then you can control it a little bit more and that is what we're going to need to do here. We've got to try and control how far the paint moves and um, where it moves to. If you paint flames or a bonfire with one red colour then it's not going to be very much uh, uh, variation in the, in, 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 in the colour, of course, if you only use one. Um, but if you look at a, uh, a bonfire, if you look at the flames in a bonfire, you'll see there's more than just one colour there. There is perhaps a, a yellow colour, there's a, perhaps a, a couple of red colours, sometimes also white. Um, so we're going to see if we can get these, uh, these colours, mostly the the yellow and the red, to run into each other, um, merge into each other and gives an effect which looks like flames. We're also going to have a look at um, uh, how one can mix the colour that we're going to use for the smoke. Um, gay smoke usually is uh, grey or something like that. So we're going to see if we can mix a grey colour um, for the smoke. and. Uh, 
how we're going to mix it? Well, we're going to mix it from the colours we're, we're already using in the bonfire. We're going to have a yellow and we're going to have a red. Um, we need a little bit of blue to, 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 to get this grey colour. Um, and um, I shall show you how I'm going to mix a colour which I can use for the smoke. We're going to draw our bonfire first. Draw the area where we're going to have our bonfire. So we've got to have a bit of a, an idea um, which shape this bonfire is going to have. Usually uh, bonfires are uh, triangular or conical because they are um, round in the bottom and then come up to, to a point at the top. So um, that's what we're going to do. Um, and the flames are also continue up in this uh, triangular uh, form or conical form. And why is that? When one uh, builds a bonfire, one usually puts some pieces of wood um, around uh, the area where one wants the uh, bonfire and um, it's usually some, a, a conical shape that one starts with. Then one lights the fire at the bottom somewhere and the flames start to go up. Um, these flames here, they warm the air above the bonfire here and this air rises up because it is warm. It's got to be replaced by something so it takes the cooler air from the sides and it's coming in here. So the flames are always kept in this path here. So whether they go straight up or whether they wriggle a little bit, they will always be going around here. You won't get very many flames going out to the sides. So most of the flames will be going up here and the whole uh, bonfire will have a conical shape, a triangular shape. So that's, we've got to try and remember that when we go to paint our bonfire. And the idea is to get um, a bonfire and smoke to um, see something like this. Okay, we've got a bonfire here, we're going to put some wood on it in the end um, and then uh, we, we're going to get some smoke to come out of the bonfire. But we start with the flames and I shall show you how I paint the flames. The first thing I do is to um, decide which colours I'm going to uh, dissolve on my, on my palette here. I'm going to have a, a cadmium yellow. I'm going to have a cadmium red. And I'm going to have a alizarin, alizarin crimson that's going to be here. It will also be a good idea now to, um, to have the, 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 the colour for the smoke mixed up. And that I mix up from a yellow, a red and a Prussian blue. So I start with a yellow here. I take a little bit of cadmium red. This gives me some orangey colour here. I take my Prussian blue here, mix that in. If I want a dark colour then I have to have quite a lot of the blue mixed in here. See that gives me a a green colour. If I now mix a little bit of red to my green then I'll, I'll get something which looks like brown. Okay, so now I've got a brownish colour and if I now mix a blue to that then I should be getting darker and darker. I mean this thing with mixing greys out of um, uh, the constituent colours yellow, red and, and, and uh, blue, it can take, take quite some time. But now I've got a, 
and a dark grey colour here. And that's the one I'm going to use for the smoke when I get to that point. Now I've come to the point where I'm going to draw the uh, form of the bonfire. And the only thing I need are a couple of lines here. They, be, they don't have to be straight or anything like that. But that, that's the, the border of my bonfire. The flames will come up here, the smoke will come up here afterwards. And I shall also paint some pieces of wood on the bonfire. But I start by cleaning my brush. Perhaps I ought to um, just get some, new, some clean water. This, this water is a little bit, bit filthy. I start by wetting my brush and painting a wet stripe on the right hand side of my bonfire here. Then I take the first colour. The first colour that I want to use is the cadmium uh, yellow. I can take, if I want a very strong colour, then I go direct into this uh, area here. If I want a weaker colour, then I take it from here. I want to have quite a, a strong colour here. And I paint that on this side of the bonfire here. And I wash the colour out of my pencil. Actually, I think I will go over to my rigger brush, the liner brush here. Although it's a small brush, I can still get quite a lot of paint on it. And then I paint this direct into the wet colour that I've got here. This colour I draw a little bit out with a, a wet brush. And then I take some more colour again. Now I'm going to take the yellow once more and put it right on the border of the two colours here. Wet the brush again. Wet this area here so it's, it's, it's wet. Go back to one of my colours here. I'll take the alizarin cr uh, crimson colour now. Paint a few lines of this. You see what's happening here? The colours, I don't have to mix them. They, they're, they're running into each other by themselves. Here I take another red colour and put it on the edge of this. It's, a, it's now fallen onto the very dry paper here, so I have to wet this a little bit with, with the, the brush here. Then I take the yellow colour once more and put it onto the red colour here. Here I go back and just fold it, get the two colours to run a little bit into each other. If some of the areas here are running too much together then I can take some fresh colour and put it on again here. What do I need now? I think I should go back to my alizarin crimson colour here. A bit dry. A little bit more red colour on the edge here and perhaps a little bit of of yellow again. Now these colours at the top I want them to start running so I'm wetting the paper now. Now I've put some dry colour on here but now with a wet brush I'm putting more water onto here and now I think I can start putting my smoke on. The first thing I do is to take some water and wet this area a little bit. Then I go back to my my grey colour here. And put it onto the wet paper here. If it's too sharp because this, the paper is not wet enough, then I wet the paper a little bit. And I graduate the colour out. Okay, so this is what I have done here. 
could be that some of the colours are still, are still visible in the smoke. So that is how I will paint the smoke coming out of the bonfire. Now the bonfire here, the colours of the of the flames are beginning to dry and that is fine because they've got to be dry before I can do the next bit. The next bit will be to paint all the wood that is still not burnt that is standing around the bonfire here. Okay, so I can clean a couple of areas here and here I will mix the color that I'm going to use for the for the wood. I start with burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is the only brown color I have in my palette but it's not really dark enough for for wood. But I know that if I now mix some ultramarine ultramarine blue to it then I'm going to get a darker color. The more blue that is mixed into my burnt umbra, uh, burnt, burnt uh, sienna, the darker will this color end up as a dark brown. So I can decide myself how dark this color has to be by mixing the, these two colors together. Some dark stripes here. This is supposed to be the wood that hasn't burnt yet that is standing around around the bonfire here. Okay, so, so I've got these areas here. I can also use my rigger brush, my liner brush to get some thinner lines if I want to have them. I can also cover up a little bit of the flames at the bottom here but otherwise that is what I want to keep. What if um, there is a piece of wood sticking out from the bonfire somewhere here? And perhaps, one never knows, perhaps there is a flame on it. Perhaps there would be a, a flame on it there. And I could also imagine that there could be a little bit of smoke coming from this. And you get a lot of water onto this area here. Uh, okay. Now I wasn't careful enough here and my flames have, well actually it doesn't look too bad. In the fire here there can also be some, some wood which is sticking out of the flames. At the top this area, this piece of wood will be quite dark. But as it disappears into the flames, the colour of this wood will be lighter and lighter. So you can see, I can, I can get some piece of, uh, show some pieces of wood as if they were sticking out of the, out of the flames. And just for fun. Can give a little bit of flame to the top of this piece of wood and perhaps a little bit more smoke here. Now I think my bonfire is is getting pretty close to being finished. I think I would 
like to have a little bit more yellow flames here. So that's how I paint uh, a bonfire. It didn't take very long. Um, okay, it's a very little bonfire. Um, a few stripes of, of uh, different colours. Cadmium yellow for the yellow colour. Um, cadmium red and uh, alizarin crimson for the red colours. The smoke, um, I've used these three colours plus a little bit of blue. Uh, because I don't think you'll be able to get a, a black or a dark or a grey if you just use yellow and red. Um, so we need a third colour there uh, to, to give the dark uh, effect. Well, I hope you um, enjoyed watching and uh, the important thing is that you try something like that yourself. Um, it's alright seeing somebody else paint a picture but you can never learn how to do it yourself unless you try it. So um, have, a, have a go. The wetting to wet techniques I've mentioned here are also in my ebook. If you're interested in learning a few more watercolour techniques and you like the way that I present things and teach then you can go to my website and, uh, and see my ebook. It's a book written specially with um, beginners in mind. The book uh, contains 23 chapters which concern themselves with uh, landscapes and water, the sea. Uh, the book is now improved with extra illustrations and video clips and it costs uh, 15 US dollars or 13 euros. Payment is by PayPal and I send the book by email. So go to my ebook web page, uh, the address will come here soon, and you'll see the, the content of the chapters. And then you can decide if you want to buy it. And uh, if you buy it, as soon as I get confirmation of the payment, so I send the book to you by email. Okay? Enjoy painting.